Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a tutorial finally. You guys have been requesting that I sit down and do a makeup look and I thought why not do a talk through and a spring look which I am really enjoying. You guys know I full on last week was all about the Barbie vibes and wanted like light iciness on my eyes and just really glowy skin and juicy glossy lips like forget the matte everything even though we are going to be using a matte foundation which I'll explain. Um, um, but I really want everything to be pumped up, glowy, and kind of, you know, ready for spring. So we are going to hop right in. I first am going to prime my face with the lovely Armani Prima. Is this Prima or Prima? I, you know, I did this WTF and I was like, did I say Prima Ballerina? Because all I think about is ballet because I love ballet. But maybe it's actually Prima because it's a primer. Hmm. Anyway, we're using this. I'm going to take half a pump because you really only need an itty bitty bit and I'm going to dab it on with my fingers just around the nose, top of the lip, press it in, in between my eyebrows where I get super oily and then I'm going to dab this on my eyelids as well. From there I'm going to use the Lancome Pinky Peach. This is a cushion primer and this is a color corrector that's going to brighten. I had a whole video about color correctors. We're using some of them today in action. I will link that video below if you're curious um, to know more about color correction, but this is an actual primer and what I like about this is I can put this on the areas that I want to brighten and highlight and when I put my foundation on top, this area is a little bit lighter already so it looks really natural. It looks a little bit crazy right now, but when we get the foundation on top, it's gonna look magically amazing. Uh, this is another thing that is gonna look a little bit or a lot of bit crazy straight out the gate. This is the Amazing Concealer Corrector, and I am going to very lightly, because this, this is thick, less is more with this guy. I am just going to go right in the areas where I'm super dark underneath my eyes and I like to get this area out here as well. I'm going to take my beauty blender that is already dampened and I'm just going to blot that in. And this looks like a giant hot mess. Um, let's get real, this looks crazy right now, but that's kind of how color correctors are. They look a little insane at first and then you put your other makeup on top and it can really cancel out whatever you're trying to neutralize. So for me, I'm neutralizing darkness. This stuff is crazy though. Like the tiniest bit goes such a long way. Now we're taking the yellow and I'm just going to stripe just a little bit because again, this stuff is like super pigmentation sensation. Um, okay, same beauty blender, just dabbing this on top. So what I am choosing to do is color correcting and then I'm going to put my foundation on top so there's no separation in the color like there's nothing like everything will just essentially be one color. And you can see I am already starting to look a little more normal and that really canceled out the darkness. I don't take this step every day of my life but I told you guys I was going to show you how that product worked and that I did really enjoy it so there you have it. This is essentially what it will do. Put your you know, foundation on top. The rest of your makeup is gonna cover up any little bit of the peach or yellow that you might see and it will look perfect. Now we are moving on to a foundation that I absolutely love. This is from Fiona Styles. This is a new line at Ulta. I'm using the shade two. I'm going to take my Scott Barnes palette. This is so helpful. It is a glass palette where you can actually, if you're a makeup artist, this is a great way to be able to see what is gonna match your client's skin. Just kind of random tip for you guys as far as matching without having to stripe the product on the face. Um, or if you are custom blending things like I am doing right here. I just took like a pump of the shade four because I want to give my skin a little bit of a glow. I'm feeling really pale. I am gonna blend it down the neck, but 
um, shade two just ends up making me look a little too washed out. So see, that's a pretty decent match with those two mixed together. Okay, so this is a matte foundation and this is a glowy look, but something that I like to do because my skin is just a little bit getting oily throughout the day recently. I'm not quite sure why, but um, it is. So what I like to do is use a more matte foundation, control the oil, have a good, nice canvas to work with, and then place my highlighter where I want it. Instead of having a luminous foundation where everything is looking greasy and then piling the highlighter on top, if you have more oily or shiny skin, it's a good idea to use something that is a little more flat and then add your highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area. I'm gonna use this brush from Japanesque. It looks like the NARS Eda, pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to kind of go make an alien face and make sure things don't crease. I am first going to take this Morphe M511 brush, which I have grown to love more and more every time I use this brush. It is fantastic for the crease. I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, just dab a little color, and really, I'm not being too careful here or precise. I am just laying down that initial light transition shade. From there, I'm actually going to take my e.l.f. palette. This is a $10 palette that is so awesome. I love this guy. And I'm going to take this shade right here, very neutral shade, and I am going to start on the outer corner and just work that through the crease. Is that not gorgeous and like so easy to blend? That took barely any effort at all. This palette is like blowing my freaking mind. So we are blended and I'm gonna go a step down and now I'm taking a Morphe M430 and I'm gonna go next door. Actually, I'm gonna go two neighbors down. So I'm going right here and use what I call angel strokes, like use light feathery strokes. You do not need to press very hard when you are layering up shadows in the crease. Just like give it like a kiss of color, light as a feather, and it will build up that definition, but still look very blown out, airbrushed, and not choppy or streaky or chunky. And now we are going to go into this guy right here, same brush. I'm just picking up a little bit of that darker color and I'm just focusing on the very outer edge. Little bit into the crease, but mainly on the outer edge of my eye. I'm going to take my Natasha Denona palette. I don't think you need this whole big bad boy, but these eyeshadows are phenomenal. I'm gonna take this guy right here Look how gorgeous, and we are gonna go on the lid. I'm using a MAC 242, and I'm just going to press and grab that color and do the same thing starting in the center. Just press, you don't wanna to smear too much, you just wanna pack that color on. And I'm going up to my crease. And now to add a little extra oomph to the center, I'm gonna spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. Grab a little bit of the same shade and just go right in the center of the lid and pat, 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 pat. And that's just gonna give you just a touch extra something. I'm gonna line my eyes and I'm not gonna do a wing, but I do wanna do um, a thicker edge on the outer portion of my lid, and I'm gonna be using the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Obsidian, which is just a very rich black, and I really like these pencils. I think they've launched. I'm not 100% sure, um, but they're really good. So once I meet 
like this halfway point, what I start doing to make sure that the liner doesn't get too thick is I just start dragging it down. Like almost making little dots and dragging down. My legs asleep. Oh my god, I hate that so much. And if you mess up at all, which I just did, I'm just going to pack a little more color right on top of that small little smudge, kind of conceal it. Okay. And I'm going to apply my uh, current go-to mascara. I'm using Carbon Canyon. This is the Fiona Styles Limitless Length Mascara. And I am gonna apply false lashes. I am using the Tory Lashes from Flutter and I don't think they make these anymore. And I am so sad because these were like my very, very favorites. So I'm like treasuring this last pair. What I like to do, I'm gonna try and do this in focus because lately I actually, it's like I'm drinking a cup of tea. That's how I apply my lashes so that they stick straight up. And I kind of tilt my head back a little bit and anchor in the center of the lashes first then kind of play around with the edges. And there you have it, very easy. This is a new item I am playing with. You guys know I recently hauled a bunch of the Revolution makeup items that are available at Ulta. This is a blush palette, but really, like, let's get real, it's bronzer. So I've actually enjoyed just kind of swirling into everything and just hitting the perimeter and really building it up. It is a little bit orangey. Um, that sounds bad. Like, it's a little bit of a more warm toned bronzer than I normally reach for, but I like the way this looks and blends. Moving on to a little bit of contouring, not much. I don't wanna to go too crazy with it, but I do enjoy contouring my nose. This is the Sheer Sculpting Palette in Light Medium. And I literally just kind of drag the brush down, knock off the excess, um, and then go down the sides of my nose. We are gonna rosy up the cheeks. This is a spring look, so we are going to go full on pink with Blushing Bride from Ben Nye. This is one of my favorite blushes, it's like 10 bucks. It's a beautiful blush, very long wearing, and I'm just gonna hit the apples of the cheeks and kind of try to stay upward a little bit, give a little lift to the face. Now for my favorite part, we are going into the glow kit. And this is the That Glow kit from Anastasia. You guys, I'm obsessed. I love this. So I'm first gonna take Sunburst, which is gonna look super crazy and harsh. And I'm kind of going all the way down to the apple of my cheek. I'm going all the way. I'm really going for the glow. Now I'm gonna take bubbly and kind of fan down on top of that. I like it. I mean, that's a strong highlight. It's not for everyone, but I am really into it. And then I'm just gonna take the excess that's on this blush brush and kind of work everything together so there's no harsh highlight line. It's just like this nice glow. And actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of the excess right underneath the high points of my brow. And I really wanna brighten up the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to take this Morphe E36 brush and I'm gonna go back into the glow palette and I'm gonna take Sunburst pretty heavily and I'm going to 
get that inner corner. Ooh. I'm gonna take one of my favorite drugstore lip pencils. This is the Essence Lip Liner number 11 in the nude. It's pretty much the same color as my lips, but that's why I like it. It works with so many different lip items. And now I'm going to take Basic from Tarte. This is a combo of lipstick and gloss. And I'm going to finish everything off with a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to help things last throughout the day. Fan that off. And there you have it, that is the finished look. This is my go-to bright spring fresh look that I love. It's pretty easy to do, there are a lot of steps, but even a makeup beginner can handle them. Just take it slow, take your time, blend, blend, blend. And I hope you guys found this informative and interesting. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials and you enjoyed this one and you want more. Also, if you have requests for specific looks, leave that in the comment section below. I'm getting things better set up here so I will be doing more get ready with me's and tutorials and uh, you know other good stuff like that aside from just hauls so thank you for hanging out with me today I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.